good morning to everyone so myself jay jawar jang dutra working as an assistant professor senior grade department of mechanical engineering ramkun sir technology ajwalam so today i am going to take a topic on primary and secondary variables under fine term analysis subject so before going into that so we need to know the major variables uh, in the structural problems it, it may be a structural problem thermal problem or any fluid problem or dynamic problem whatever may be so we need to know that what are the parameters comes under the primary variables what are the parameters comes under the secondary variables that is very very important here i am going to give the small intro and also small definition about the primary variables and the secondary variables so in primary variables always indicate the nodal variables so what is mean by nodal variables so here you see that so i will explain so what is nodal value and everything so here you can see the diagram the number indicates uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 these are the nodal points so here you see the four rectangular geometrical shape so this four rectangular geometrical indicates element so element a element b element c element d this will be discretized into four divisions so the connecting points of this four element is nothing but nodes so 1 2 3 up to 9 so primary variables always indicates the nodal variables so this is the very important key point here so come to the structural problems the main nodal variables variable is displacement so here you can see some of the animated videos so whatever load we are giving over that structure it may be a more uh, dynamic problems so whatever may be the material tends to bend okay in any one any directions it depends on the applied load so here you can see the displacement occur in the angular direction so here you see that displacement occur in the lateral direction so in structural problems always primary variable as displacement in thermal problem temperature as a nodal variables that is primary variables and at the nodal points so here you see some of the diagram indicates so these are the some temperature values at nodal point so if you solve any problem by using numerical software so it will give two major outputs one is nodal solution and also element solution you always remember that nodal solutions always indicate the primary variable that means primary parameters okay so here are some some examples regarding the thermal problem now come to the secondary variables so in case of secondary variables so secondary indicates the element solution so here you can see the diagrams element a element b element c and element d so these are the major elements so this solutions gives the elemental output it is not the total output so what are the element solutions are there if you take structural problem stresses and strains reaction solutions at the constraint nodes so these are the element solutions so here you can see that we are giving applied load in the bending of beam at the midpoint so it will create a tensile stress in the bottom compressive stress in the top so this stress will be identified using elemental solution okay here the deformation occur here in this cantilever beam due to the model analysis there is pre vibration pre vibration so the stress will be created at the points okay here you can see the reaction solution at the point a and point b so here you can get the element solution okay so in case of thermal problem heat flux is a secondary variable so if you apply the temperature over that element so the heat flux will be generated through that element so always we indicate the element solutions at a, as a heat flux in thermal problem so this is another example of a globe so it will create the heat flux in thermal images okay thank you so this is our overall view of the structure of rit so currently uh, admin is going on so you, you can access the website rtrjbm.is.in you can access our uh, upcoming upcoming programs and also what is going on in our college you can access through this if you 
want to enquire about admission and also other things, you can contact these numbers. Okay, so you can apply online also by using this link. Okay, that is provided in the 